Hello everybody, it's DaffyDuck91 here from Not A Gamer Gaming, and we are on day three of our bombshell series. So last night, I hid here at the uh, PY we looted right before the end of the day, this Savage Country PY, and I had a few medical problems. I had, uh, gosh, what was it called now? When you were like bleeding all the time and you needed a sewing kit. Well, lo and behold, if you loot clothing piles like this on the floor, there were there was a sewing kit in it. I actually ended up getting three total, so I used one to you know heal myself. And then I have a few extra just in case it happens again. But in the process of trying to find the sewing kits in the store, I had a few million zombies come at me. So as you can see, this door is damaged. I had a hatch here. There was a hatch here, but yeah, it got destroyed. And over here, another hatch and another hatch. So we had a little bit of a uh, intense, almost died. I did not die, so zero deaths. I cannot believe it's day three and I haven't died yet. Knock on wood, I probably just jinxed myself. But yeah, so I ended up getting too afraid to continue looting. I hid in here. I do have a chest here with some spare stuff in it, uh, just in case. You know, I, I didn't want to run around. Is that a pig? I didn't want to run around. Is that a pig inside? Can I kill that from up here? What do you think? Can we kill this pig from here? Ow! Nope. Alright, so this is uh, good information to have. The pig will bounce around. Just like everything else in the game. But we are going to skin it and get some meat. Mm, meat all damn day. So the plan for today is I'm going to finish looting this POI. Then we need to head back and return our buried supply quest that we did yesterday. A little birdie told me, <clears throat> Genosis, that the quest rewards in Alpha 19 actually give you quite a bit of bombs. So I want to spend today... Is that guy alive or dead? I think that's dead. I do want to spend today... Yeah, we're dead. I want to spend today doing a few more quests. Because if I can get quests done and I can get bombs that way, then I don't need to stress so much about blowing my points into um, into making workbenches. I can give myself just a little bit more time to find the schematics. So with that in mind, I'm going to take the two points I've had so far. I want to put one in Sexy T-Rex. Or I guess technically I'm just going to go and throw it in Strength in general. And then when we get that out of three, we'll put another one in Sexy T-Rex. So let's put it again in Strength. I want to be able to increase the amount of stamina I can keep when I'm using my spear. Because I'm noticing that every time I use a spear, I almost die mainly because I run out of stamina. So I need to... Oh god, that's a dog. Oh god, okay. I'm scared. I'm gonna go quickly, we're gonna loot this place, and then I'll meet you guys outside. <gasps> oh god, we got a dog. Oh god, oh god, okay, hold on. I don't wanna die. No, we're not gonna die. Don't you run from me. Where is it going? Is it gonna come back? Is it, seriously? Are you serious right now? Well, good riddance. It's probably gonna come back and eat my butthole. Um, that was scary. I don't want to die. I feel like I'm going to jinx myself by saying I hadn't died yet. Let's just go on. I want to finish looting here. We're going to scrap a ton of this clothes in the end because I don't need it. But it would be nice to find a few more sewing kits. Ah! Aww. It makes such a sad little crying noise. But at least I killed it. I'm going to get some more meat. I did find pretty cool stuff. I'm going to keep scrapping all this. Um, I found a water purifier mod, and I actually found a pipe bomb. Where did it go? I know I found it. Oh, right there. Mm. Maybe we'll uh, treat ourselves to one explosion today. I know I shouldn't be wasting my bomb, but it's just too good not to do it. It's too much fun. We can gather up just a bunch of zombies and watch them blow. All right, so we are all done looting the place. Let's look at what we have, and we also need to kind of organize what's in this chest and what we want to be taking home with us. So we found a water purifier mod, which will be super handy. I'm going to modify my helmet to sweet beat beat, my level three modify. So now I can just drink regular uh, murky water, which will be handy, less, uh, less for me to worry about. Of course, we found a bunch of clothes. This helmet I'm going to sell. Uh, trigger group full auto mod, I'm just going to sell that. 
Reload 30% faster. I'm going to see if I can put that on my armor as well. Oh, look at that. And armor plating. I'm sure that just makes me stronger. So we found a lot of good mods. And of course, we found some food. We need to kind of cherry pick what we're going to take. So I'm going to take a few seconds, go through everything. I'm probably going to take all the food, the proper ammo, and anything that's kind of worth selling. And we will leave the rest behind. We do not want to be dragging everything with us. All right. So I'm going to be taking... Oh, I don't want to take that. I'll leave that there. I'm taking basically all the food and medical supplies, the ammo that I can use. The rest I'm just leaving here. I don't need... Uh, maybe I'll take, I will take the oil with me, but otherwise, and yeah, since we have the space, the military armor parts, but I don't really need this ammo. I'm not allowed to use it. And this other stuff is, it's not that I don't need it. Mm. Should I take the animal fat? I'm going to use the shamway right now. Oh, and I can scrap that and I can make room for the animal fat. Look at me go. Ooh, steel armor parts. I should take that too. Man, it's hard to decide. Just when you think you know everything you want to take. Um, I'm going to leave the helmet. All right. So basically we have all of our medical supplies, our food. We have some raw materials to correct any of our weapons that may break. And, uh, of course, all the medical supplies. So let's head on back to the trader. We're going to beeline it right there. Uh, traders down here. I'm going to set the little red flag. We're going to run straight for the trader, kill as much as we can on the way, and then hopefully see if we get a nice juicy set of pipe bombs for a quest, quest reward. <gasps> oh god. Oh my god, is he swimming? Stop it, Genosis. I do not want to be wet with you. Look at him, he's swimming! Oh my god, I'm going to die. I should probably get my spear out. Nobody tell Jen that I hit a zombie with an axe and never let me live it down. Oh god, so they kind of like do like a swimming motion in the water. That is, uh, that's new. That scared the crap out of me. We've barely even left the goddamn store and I already had the crap scared out of me. All right, back to the trader we go. All right, so we're not quite at the trader yet, but I think there's a chemistry station in here. So I want to go in. I'm going to clear the area and see if it's working. And if it is working, I'm going to mark it. Because this would actually be relatively close to my base. And I really do need a chemistry station. Oh, God. That sounds like a bird. Yep. I need a chemistry station to make gunpowder to make my bombs. All right, so I cleared the place out. I did some minor looting of all the little tents around me. Get this medical supplies. Now let's see. Ah, oh, damn it. You know, that was worth doing because sometimes the broken ones, they'll actually have... Oh, shit. They'll actually have the schematic in it. Ah, the downside to missing with your spear is it goes so far away. All right, he's dead. And I'm level five. One skill point. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go right in. I'm going to put the point in strength. Sexy T-Rex, and we'll leave it there for a little bit. That way we can get some more stamina and use our spear just a little bit more. Make it a little bit more handy. All right, we've made it back. We're going to turn in our quest. Again, Genosis had told me that sometimes in the early quests, if um, the rewards are a bunch of bombs or like uh, Molotovs, I haven't really decided if I think Molotovs is something fair to use in this playthrough. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about me using a Molotov during Horde Night? Is that kind of walking the line of bombshell or do you think it'd be totally okay? All right, so he didn't have any bombs, but he did have antibiotics and I think that's really important. With that in mind, I wanna to touch on the fact that I have this weird abrasion on my knee. Uh, oh, it's just called abrasion. Bumps and bruises are the most common type of injury and heal over time. Perks are medical items like aloe cream, first aid bandages, or first aid kits increase the healing speed. So I do not have any of those. So, I mean, really, I'm just going to have to kind of rough it for the next six minutes. I think I'll be fine. I got that abrasion actually from trying to defend myself last night against all the mini bobinis. Now, I'm going to head home quick. Home is just right here. And then we have a quest to do, which is up here. 
I think this is the booby trap. If I remember correctly, that's where the booby trap is. Because the quest is called um, Bar Strip Club. So that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We're going to go to the booby trap. Side note, I had to come back in quick because I forgot to sell him some stuff. There is a mini bike here for 1200 And this resets on day four, so tomorrow. I don't know if I can make that much money by tomorrow. But... I mean, it doesn't hurt to maybe try. I'm not going to hold my breath. But that's just kind of nice to see. I really need to be keeping an eye out on things like mini bikes and also on like weapons that I can possibly use, um, like explosives that he might have here, like rocket launcher ammo, which would be great I if I had a rocket can, launcher. Sir. Anyway, I'm going to head home. I know that's what I was planning to do, but I doubled back. Let's go home and then head to the strip club. All right, guys, I've unloaded everything. I double checked to see if I had any type of medical supplies to fix my abrasion, and I do not. I also dumped all of all but my painkillers there. I'm actually gonna take a painkiller right now. I dumped them all at home. I assume if I get super sick or super bad, I'll just come back home and heal myself. That all being said, not taking a splint with me is a bit of a roll of the dice because I could easily be limping my arse all the way home. All right, we are at the booby trap. This is just, Genosis just really wishes he was here with me right now. I'm gonna make a bedroll really quick. Again, I don't like dying and then spawning my arse all the way back home to have to do this grindy walk again. Just one second, Arlene, I am crafting. Oh God, is there more than one of you? you they're awful loud for just one zombie. Ah, dead, perfect. So yeah, I am going to put a bedroll down. I'm going to eat my blueberry pie that I brought with me because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. And we're going to take on the booby trap. I'm not... I just don't think I'm going to be able to get enough money to get that mini bike in one day. I'm, it's not that I'm not going to try, but my guts are telling me it isn't going to happen. And it's unfortunate because I find one of the downsides to playing on Navisgain is everything is just very spread out. So you could really benefit from some type of wheels. This all being said, you know, Jen's playing, oh God. <laughs> Jen's playing his Archer series in a nitrogen map where he's surrounded by tons of great loot and really close traders. It's almost borderline cheaty. I'm gonna go, I said that it's borderline cheaty. <laughs> Oh God, no, oh my God, that was horrible. Oh God, bird, oh God, oh my gosh, that was insane. Wow, note to self, do not throw your spear over the roof of a building. Oh my God, am I not, I'm probably not within the area anymore. Oh no, okay, hold on, let me go back. That bird's gonna come, right? I'm shocked I didn't lose that quest by leaving the area. Where are you, birdie? Hold on, okay, I'm gonna go back in, we'll go back up on the roof and see if that bird comes at me again. Gotcha. I did not want to accidentally throw my spear again so that it flew over the side of the building. Yes, I am gonna go out of my way and say a big downside to using a spear. I really just need to have an extra one on me in situations like that is when you accidentally throw it a million miles away and you have to literally nearly blow your quest trying to go back and get it. Whew. We have officially cleared the entire area. I'm honestly shocked that I did not blow this quest by jumping off the building and getting my spear. But I will take it as a win. Whoa. Do you hear that? Oh, there's definitely a zombie out to get me. Let's go ahead. We're going to loot the place. And then we're just going to have to suffer and run back to the trader. I'm going to see... I mean, the trader's here. There honestly isn't much in the way of POIs that we can loot. We could go down and check out what this thing is. I think it's like a junk area and try to loot that. But realistically, we've done this place. We did up here. On my way, I have been kind of marking where I've seen some iron and lead. We have some coal up here. I have not found any nitrate yet. So these are just things I'm constantly keeping an eye out for. Okay, I'm curious. If I scrap, hold on. If I, oh my gosh, Daphne, do you not know how to do this anymore? Hold on, here you go. Take all the items. If I scrap some ammo, will I get, okay, I just got brass from that and just brass. Okay, I don't really want brass. I was hoping if you scrapped ammo, you got some kind of 
gunpowder, which would be super convenient. Oh crap. Okay, so we got some minis coming in to the side. We've got a little bit of time before this back through, so let's just keep looting. Okay, what are the chances I can hit them with this bomb as they come through? Hold on, you're gonna want to put a little bit in front of them. Okay, oh god, was that a bad idea? Was that a bad idea? Is it gonna blow up? Ah! Did it kill them both? Oh, that was... That was beautiful. I, I mean, I expected a little bit more than a, a hop, but hey, whatever, they did it. <laughs> Was that worth spending my only pipe bomb? I have no idea, but I did enjoy it. I need to finish looting. Oh my gosh, we're running out of daylight here. All right, so we're done looting this place. I did not find that much. I'm gonna see if I can actually put that mod onto something. Um, it is a banded armor plating mod, which I think just makes it a little bit stronger. Um, I found a bunch of these, so these are going to come in handy because I'm going to use them to run my behind all the way back to the trader, and hopefully it'll shave off a little bit of time. Uh, I'm trying to de-encumber myself so we can get as much running spa speed as we need. I know it kind of hurts to throw away some of the loot like that, but we don't really have the ability to carry it. I don't have any steroids, and right now this has got to be all about getting some quest, quest rewards in the version, in like pipe bombs. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Quest rewards for pipe bombs. Whew, all right, we're here. I feel like that mega crush helped just a little bit, helped me get here a bit faster. I'm gonna return the quest. Let's cross our fingers that we actually have pipe bombs. Like I'd love a stack of pipe bombs. Thank you very much. Something to take Anything on the day like? seven horde with. Here you go, friend. Whatever Improved you need, fitting just mod. say the word. Or Tech Junkie Volume 6. Alright, I guess I'll take the mod. I'm, I'm a little upset. Joel, I really want pipe bombs. This is not seeming to work to my advantage. And all the other quests are a really million I've miles got away. just the task for you. Well, all right. alrighty then. Let's Thank you for basically rolling. nothing. It is very close to nighttime. Where is this quest? Oh my gosh. It is so far away. Do I want to do it? Should I do it? All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go there. I'm at least going to walk there and maybe hide out at night. Uh, I don't even know. The downside, if I walk there, I'm stuck. Uh, the good side, maybe I'll find another trader. Maybe I'll find, uh, maybe I'll even find a better place to live. As much as I like being as close to a trader as I am, I'm not enjoying the fact that I live here and literally all around me there is basically nothing, nothing to loot. So let's keep an open mind. I know it's almost nighttime. We're going to walk to where this quest is, see what we can see. Perhaps we'll see something that tickles our fancy that could be close to a trader, but also close to more things to loot early game. All right, so we're coming up on what looks like kind of a starter house where you would go and do your pre-loot, get a little bit of experience when you just spawned in. Uh, other than that, we haven't seen anything really juicy, but we still have a ways to go. I've been looting kind of trash bags and cars on the way, just with the hope that I find something juicy. Okay, off in the distance here, there are a few buildings. I'm a little intrigued. I kind of want to go see what the buildings are. I'm being uh, trailed by a zombie, but it's kind of a bit out of the way. Oh, but we're exploring right now. It's fine. I'm going to go take a look, see what these buildings are. Maybe it'll give us an idea of exactly where on Navisgain we are located. Okay, I think I know where this is. This is uh, the pawn shop, uh, the bear den. It's just up this road. Actually, Trader Joel used to be way up there. I wonder what's in place of Trader Joel's. Trader Joel's used to be way up there, and then the bookstore, which I've been eyeing, would be way down there with all the schematics that I want. And that is kind of in the direction of the quest I need to do, so we might as well science it and see if the crack of is still there. Oh god. I'm a little drunk, guys. I took a beer and an energy drink just to run a bit faster. It looks like the crack of book is now the pawn shop, which this used to be in the desert. So suffice it to say, officially the entire map is completely 
wonky. Now, there is another little neighborhood down here that has some houses in it that we could loot. Oops. But the question is, is there a trader anywhere nearby? Something that can um, benefit us? Because if there's no trader, I can't do quests. And if I can't do quests, then I really can't get those pipe bombs that apparently I'm supposed to get, which I have not seen yet. All right, here we are. I recognize the neighborhood. I kind of have an idea of where we are. So Trader Joel's used to be over here. It's now down here. I have no idea what has replaced Trader Joel. Maybe I'll check that out tomorrow on my way home. But as of tonight, we're going to have to camp out here. I'm going to start the quest. I'm going to bang a tree down first so I can make a chest. Let's see if I can get the quest done. Maybe at night? It's probably going to be a bad idea. I most likely will die over and over again. But the benefit is that you guys will get a little bit of a laugh. That's all I can say. You'll laugh a little. I'm going to put this on the other side of the road. Alright, let's take a coffee. And let's hit the quest icon. Place our bedroll down. And most likely die. Let's see how quickly we can clear this before all the zombies decide to start running. Oh god, oops, our item needs repaired. Is this gonna kill me? Am I gonna lose the quest? I think I have stone. Do I have stone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm panicking. Okay, they're coming. Why can't I hit this? Okay, stone. Tab. We're gonna repair it real quick. Woo, nilly. Oh god, it's nighttime. Okay, they're running. They're running. Calm down. Ooh, do I have any wood with me? Oh, of course I don't. Okay, let's just see if I can if I can kill them before they kill me. Oh god. All right, we're not done yet. There's still more coming. I'm gonna shut the door behind me as I go. Whew. All right, they're all upstairs. I'm scared. Okay, so I gotta go in the tight corridor and kill two zombies. Whew, I am going to quickly take this. I'm gonna grab me another coffee. I think coffee helps with your stamina. Stamina regain 20%. We've been drugged. We've been caffeinated. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a stripper outside. All right, so we've completed the quest, thank God. So if we die, it's not a big deal. Uh, I have another abrasion, I'm hungry, um, and I'm infected. I do know I will be okay because I have medical supplies back home. I need to go and kill the stripper who's banging on everything out here. Gotta go bang a stripper. Whew. Oh crap, okay, so I need, I need a way to protect myself. Let's build some frames. Let's take the frames, we're gonna put them in here. I turn my light off. I know it's dark, but there's a zombie out there. I'm gonna get on my knees. Maybe there's something in here to heal me. A splint! Not useful, as I do not have a broken leg. Anyway, okay guys, this is it. This is day three. I am in the middle of nowhere. I'm hiding in a house. And my desperate attempt to do quests in order to get pipe bombs. Let me know guys if you know where another trader might be and in the comments make it super descriptive because I have problems with directions. Another rad remover. Wow. All right. Otherwise, I'm hiding out here for the night. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys for day four of Bombshell.